Hey YouTube, it's Everything Epan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows NT 3.51 in VirtualBox or VMware. I haven't done an NT video in a while, and I tried getting this one to work, and I finally got it to work, so I'm going to go ahead and do a tutorial for you guys, so let's go ahead and begin. So you're going to need uh, the usual links in the description, VirtualBox, which is here, VMware, you know, you got to scroll down and either get the Pro version, oops, Pro version here or the player right here and then also WinRAR for the RAR files of the uh, 3.51 ISO and boot disks as well as the password which will also be in the bottom right of the video so uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it so go into either VirtualBox or VMware I'm going to use VirtualBox again for this and what you're going to do is you're going to go and create a new machine call it Windows NT 3.51 and if you do that and it automatically selects it to NT 4 go ahead and change it to Windows 3.1 that's the earliest you can do and there's no NT 3.1 or 3.5 option so just do Windows 3.1 hit next hit next again then create your virtual hard drive and then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit settings storage hit the empty floppy disk and then find the uh, boot disks there are three floppy boot disks they'll be in a folder you'll want disk number one hit open and then you want to go to the empty disk uh, CD file and then go and find the uh, uh, NT 3.51 ISO which will be in there as well go ahead and hit OK and then hit start And then it'll start up the machine and we'll get into the process of the NT setup and now you're gonna already have to enter in number two so go ahead and right click on the floppy hit choose disk image you can go to disk number two hit open hit enter in the machine and then now we're going to go through the process of setting it up so go ahead and hit enter again hit enter another time you can do custom setup if you want to, but I just normally do express. Now you're going to enter in the third one, so right click on the floppy, hit choose, and then go to disk number three, hit open, and then enter again. And that should be the last time you'll have to do that with the floppy. Well, I mean, you'll have to remove it, but you won't need any more disks. It's going to try and load. This is what you sh hopefully should have happen. You need to get this to load the CD-ROM driver. Um, make it so that it can find that. So it did find that. So go ahead and hit enter. Then what you want to do is hit enter again so that you install it from the CD instead of doing a ton of floppies because there's like 25 floppy disks and you would hate to keep having to put in a different floppy. So um, you want to hit C. Go ahead and hit enter again. And then uh, I normally do the NTFS file system, so you can do either one, but I do NTFS, hit enter, hit enter again. It's going to do a, a disk check. Then it's going to copy files over. And then it will stay at 91 for just a little bit because it's copying some NTFS type thing. And then it will finish copying the files initialize your configuration and then you're gonna want this is the time where you're gonna want to remove the floppy disk and leave in the CD so uh, just go ahead and remove it you can either click on it or just hit remove disk then go ahead and hit enter and it's gonna reboot and it's going to boot up into the setup as you can see 32,000 kilobytes of RAM 32 megabytes and here we go into the setup of NT 3.51 so uh, now you're gonna need to enter in a name or a company I'm just gonna do my YouTube channel hit continue hit continue again and then you can do anything for the computer name I just did NT 351 because you can't enter in dots hit continue continue again then you select your language here, hit continue. Um, cancel this. Normally you won't have, of obviously, a printer. These are old printers, so 
go ahead and just hit cancel. You can mess around with it if you want. Cancel, hit OK. Um, hit continue if you have this. Um, this is for your internet, I guess. Uh, you can try and cancel it, but I'm going to hit continue. Hit continue again. Now it's going to set it up. This will be a quick process since you have newer hardware now and it's a lot quicker than what it would be back then. It's going to do a network configuration if you did continue on that. Um, go ahead and hit OK. Oh wait, you got to do enable automatic. You can do a manual if you mess around with it. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to do a little bit of configurations with the network. Um, if you're in a domain, you can mess with that, uh, but normally you just hit OK on this step. Uh, you can enter in a password if you want. I'm not going to. Just hit continue and OK. Uh, you need a username here. Again, I'm not going to enter in a password, but you can if you want. Continue and OK. Uh, hit continue here. And then this is where you select your time zone. So mine is way down here. There it is, central time. That's correct. Go and hit OK. Hit OK again. And then it's kind of just the video drivers. I'm sure there's a way you can bump it up somehow. You can do this if you want. I don't think, I don't really know what you do here. It's some emergency repair disk. Not like it's going to matter that much anyway. So I just hit no. Now it's installed, so now you're going to want to remove the disk, uh, the ISO from the CD drive. So go ahead and hit remove disk, and then go ahead and restart. And then go ahead and hit enter. And it's going to do, I think it'll do one quick thing in this blue screen, and then it's going to reboot again. But do something with your hard drive. Yep, reboots again. Hit enter. And just let it sit. And once this gets loaded up, you have hit the boot screen. And there we go. Press control, delete to log on. So go and uh, up to input up here, then hover over keyboard, then insert control, alt, delete, and then go back in and hit OK or type in your password or whatever, then hit OK, and you are in. You have successfully installed Windows NT 3.51 in VirtualBox or VMware. Another quick tutorial for you guys. Thanks for watching. Um, like the video if this helped you guys out. Share it so others can see. Uh, like if they're looking to install this and they haven't found a good tutorial that works this one works You basically just saw it no cuts or anything um, So share it so other people can see it uh, comment your ideas of what I should do next uh, I like to hear your feedback. So uh, Comment if you have any sort of video ideas also subscribe uh, for more videos and That's about it. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in 